Well, to talk a bit more about all of this with me now, let's bring in Aaron Bates, who's in Johannesburg. Aaron, the BRICS meeting this year is focusing on Africa. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, well, the appetite amongst African nations to potentially join BRICS is a squarely on the table. President Cyril Ramaphosa hinting at that and the expansion of the membership of this BRICS bloc in a closed discussion this evening during a dinner. He, along with all those representatives you named, set to appear from four o'clock this afternoon uh, when they speak at the opening of the business address proper. But that's not to say there haven't already been talks about business, including uh, free and fair trade on Africa and trying to loosen up the regulatory frameworks along with certain tariffs uh, in order to entice and appetize investors from the BRICS group into continental engagements. Aaron, the, the BRICS alliance has really grown in stature, it's grown in importance over the years and as you were mentioning there are now dozens of countries that are hoping to join the bloc. Certainly are, and it's not just in Africa, the likes of Indonesia, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, all making it clear that they're interested in joining. Morocco, on the other hand, has made it clear that it's not formally uh, seeking to join the BRICS bloc, and there has been some debate about whether or not there should be certain parameters around potentially growing that membership or simply getting the numbers up in order to beef up the clout of this bloc in terms of geopolitical issues. One of the debates is whether or not the coming days in Johannesburg are going to be merely a talk shop or a trade floor. And with the focus on business today ahead of the appearance of those global leaders, there certainly is a lot of talk about business and investment on the continent and also in certain cases uh, investing in development projects and waiving uh, certain debts. President Cyril Ramaphosa in his uh, engagement and greeting to President Xi Jinping earlier in Pretoria talking about the favors or sort of waivers granted by China to African states in light of COVID-19, also emphasizing the warm friendship between the two countries and President Xi at one point toward the end uh, talking about this being a historic moment uh, for a new way forward for these two countries. Aaron, thank you for that. That's Aaron Bates there reporting from Johannesburg where the BRICS leaders will be gathering later today.